Hi, my name is Steve Goldberg, and I'm going to try to make a case for why we need to use Google Earth to help better empathize with what's going on in the news in general and in Syria in particular. So this morning I heard a piece on NPR, I'm recording this in the afternoon on March 2nd, 2012, that a rebel stronghold fell to Syrian government forces. And it was a pretty short article. If you search for Syria in the NPR um, website, you'll find it. It's about a minute long. And it talks about the district of Baba Amr. And if, if you've done any reading about um, this, uh, this issue in, in Syria, um, Baba Amr comes up a, a good bit. Um, this is today's New York Times this morning. Um, talked about Syrian forces overwhelming rebels. And uh, it says down here that uh, a week after the rebel retreat, relief workers were said to be poised to enter the shattered um, Baba Amr area. But I don't know what Baba Amr is. And unless you're unusual, um, you probably have no idea what Baba Amr is either. Um, so what I did was I did a web search for Baba Amr map and uh, found a couple different articles. One from the BBC, um, which does a nice job of uh, down here. They're talking about whether aid is um, being allowed to be delivered to the Syrian city of Homs. Um, and down here, they break down the city of Homs so that you can see this here is the Baba Amr region of Homs. And it, all these different red areas are flashpoints where there have been reports of fighting or shelling. Um, and so th that's now I have a better sense of, okay, it's this section of the city of Homs. But now I'm kind of curious, where is, uh, give me some context about Homs. And if we click on the Wikipedia article, we see that it, um, where it's located, and we can get an idea that it has at least 800,000 people living there. It's the third largest city in Syria after Aleppo in the north and the capital Damascus in the south. So, okay, now I want to try to empathize with the people who've been under siege um, and who I'm going to read about more details of in maybe the New York Times um, piece about what's going on in, uh, in homes. So, this is the, the new updated, very recently, um, afternoon New York Times. Syria has barred the Red Cross from getting into Baba Amr. And if we click on that article, here's the beginning of it. Um, it says Syrian authorities Friday blocked a Red Cross convoy laden with food and medical supplies from entering a neighborhood, a devastated neighborhood in the central city of Homs. Um, and again, there's a mention of Baba Amr. So, I think it's really important to look for Baba Amr. And if we back up for a second here, when I searched for Baba Amr map, I found this here link to, and it took me a while to do this. Um, this has a link to a KML file um, in Google Earth. So let me show you what I found in Google Earth. This is where most people, I think, um, in the United States focus on in the world, and that's pretty much in the United States. So if we want to put Syria in world context and figure out what's going on in, um, in homes and in the neighborhood of homes called Baba Amr, um, we need to get a sense of what the countries are that are around Syria. Um, do students or do anybody, does anybody who's reading an article um, about the Middle East know what these various countries are? And if not, um, why not? So let's, um, let's zoom in for a minute. This is, uh, if we get an overview height on Syria, this is an overview Syria. Um, let me get rid of that big red thing there for the world map view. Here's Syria, and the city of Homs is here, sort of in the middle, Damascus, the capital is in the south, and they had said Aleppo was up in the north. You have to be able to picture that to understand what is going on, I think. And then to zoom in to 
the city of Baba Amr, the section of homes that is Baba Amr, now we get a sense of where that is. And that lines up with that map from the, uh, from the BBC. And you say, okay, this is another section um, of homes. And homes, again, is we learned about 800,000 people. And this particular section of the city has been totally attacked by folks, um, but by the military in, in Syria. So um, another way to better empathize with what's going on there is to turn on the pictures layer with Google Earth. Turn on the photos here. And now if I zoom out a little bit, we can get some sense of the city of homes. And it looks sort of like you might picture a Middle Eastern city to look. There's a minaret. Um, but it looks pretty modern, too. And if you have this idea of sort of backward people in the desert, um, you, you're going to need to update that because this is a pretty modern place. Um, and that makes it a little harder, I think, to picture that there are tanks rolling down the street um, and doing pretty unspeakable things to folks um, in this region, in this neighborhood here, um, Baba Amr. So um, one last note. Um, these are people who've died, and Holmes is in the news quite a bit because about 4,000 people have been killed there. Um, but these are like the states. Um, within Syria, right? The United States has 50 states, and these are the different states, and these are some of the people who have been killed through these uprisings. Um, and if, if we slow down and take a little time and, and drill in a little bit, um, I, I think we, we get pretty disturbed by what's going on, but we also get more of a complete picture um, of what's happening in Syria. Um, and I would encourage you to, uh, to do that as you're reading the news. Thanks for listening.